हाय दिस मुकेश मोरे इन दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल लर्न माइक्रो प्रोसेसर बेस सिस्टम बेसिक ऑपरेशंस सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द बेसिक ऑपरेशंस वी विल सी द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर सो बेसिकली व्हेन यू कंसीडर द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर सो माइक्रो मींस इट इज हैविंग small size and processor is a device which is used for processing the instructions to fetch the instruction and to execute the instruction so now we will see the different components of microprocessor that are we have input output port so this block is used for inserting data to the system and generating output from the system so for this input output port we have two blocks attached that are input devices are attached to the system microprocessor system and output devices are attached to the microprocessor system so you can see here the arrow input devices number 1 to the input output port and output will generate at output devices so this is a block called as a input output port block and again this block input output port block is connected to the data bus and data bus is a bidirectional data bus so it has two way communication and also it is connected to the address bus it is a one way communication and also this input output port block is connected to the microprocessor through the control bus so as you can say data bus this bus is used for carrying the data from different components of microprocessor and address bus the size of address bus is a 16 bit this address bus is used for carrying the addresses of different operations and this address bus is a unidirectional address bus so this is not bidirectional data bus is a bidirectional address bus then we have control bus so this control bus is a bus it is a set of lines which is used for controlling the different operations of microprocessor so controls control bus is only appeared between input output port to the microprocessor and microprocessor to the memory so control bus is in between only input output port and microprocessor second microprocessor and memory and data bus you can connect this data bus to all the components like input output port microprocessor and main memory or you can say memory and address bus is also connecting to input output port microprocessor and main memory now you can see in the blue block we have microprocessor so microprocessor is your central processing unit which will take the data from input devices the data from main memory through the data bus so that data is traveled from the data bus and microprocessor will perform it will execute the instruction it will execute the data received from main memory and input output ports and the data is processed that processed data is sent to the main memory or output port so this is the job of microprocessor so basically microprocessor is used for only two purposes the first purpose is to fetch the data from main memory or input output port and second that is a execute the instruction 
and generate the output that generated output should be given to the main memory or output port next we have memory block is there so memory block we can use a ram a ram is a random access memory it is a not permanent memory it is a random memory we are using to store the data for the for that uh, data is provided to the microprocessor for the execution next we have rom rom is a read only memory so it is a permanent data permanent data is given for the execution to the microprocessor now this is a block diagram of microprocessor based the system next we have example with the microprocessor based system or you can say basic operation with the microprocessor based system so for example we have to do one operation or we have to do one program that program is input a number from input port has 01 so what it does this input port number 1 will take the data from input port and second step is add the contents of memory to the taken number so by these two instructions input a number from input port 1 and second state is add contents of the memory to the taken number so in this we have two numbers we are adding these two numbers and the generated number or addition result is generated to the output of output port number 2 now first instruction requires two bytes first byte for input opcode and second byte for port number so input opcode so it is used for inserting data to the system we need operational code and second byte is we are using for the port number so two bytes are required for executing the first instruction and the two byte sequence is known as instructions so for single instruction we need two bytes in sequence then second step add the contents of main memory to the taken number so addition operation is performed so addition operation and contents of memory to be added insert a data is available at the accumulator and only one opcode is needed that is for addition so the content of memory to be added to the accumulator and addition will be performed in the second operation in the third state generate the output to the output port 2 so to generate the output it requires the two byte instruction first byte for the output operation and second byte for the port address and for the specific port we are using the port address so for generating the output we need two byte instruction first byte is for output operation and second byte is for port number where to generate the output now you can see here we have used the word opcode so opcode is operational code opcode is operational code so we have one byte instruction means 8 bit instruction is there so there we are using the operational code so if to the 2 to the power 8 of course are there then you can say there is a 256 different codes are possible for a microprocessor so this is a just a short inform 